Has this ever happened to you? Oh, my rope is just so long. What am I supposed to do with all this slack? Introducing the Sheep Shank. With its non-patented, non-slip technology, the Sheep Shank can shorten even the most pesky of ropes. Is your lanyard too long? Shorten it with a Sheep Shank. But how do I get one, I hear you ask? Well, let me show you how you can tie your own at home. Once our rope is laid out on the table, we're going to form two bites with the middle of the rope, making an S formation. Then, we'll take a loop and shove our pipe through the loop. It's important that the loop closes down on that bite, just like that. Then, we'll take this one and make this loop around the other bite. This will take and shorten the rope and take the load off of the portions of the rope that are in those ears. Pull on it to make sure it'll hold the load, and you're done. But you can also tie it another way. So that was the first way to tie the sheep shank, but this is actually my favorite way. With our rope, we want to make three bites, an over, and then an under to create two half hitches. And then we will make our third loop. This is going to be an under loop again. We will reach through the two loops, grabbing the middle piece, and simply pull them through. This creates the sheep shank in a much quicker way. When using the sheep shank, keep in mind not to put too much weight on it, as the sheep shank can actually fail under load, unraveling the knot and dropping whatever it's holding. Bye.